is your 2D text logo or video insert inside a 360 video look like this? No! Instead of this, which is the correct look without weird distortion? How about learning the epic 3D text fly through in 360, like right here, with correct 360 tracking and dynamic lighting? Damn! You can also do this technique in a walking 360 shot with a long pole, like my Tokyo 360 video right here, which earned me more than 275,000 views on YouTube VR alone. And we are going to learn all this in the latest DaVinci Resource Studio without any paid third-party plugins. What I'm gonna show you next will transform you into a 360 VFX artist with specialty skills that you can charge a thousand dollars a day date rate easily. With the release of Meta Quest 3 and wow. the new Apple XR headset, you don't want to fall behind. Let's upgrade your skill set and become a better immersive content creator. Everybody, it's your boy Hugh here. Before we start, I highly recommend to rewatch this in depth tutorial first to refresh your memory on how to do logo, text, and 2D video insert inside a 2 video using DaVinci Resolve Fusion. I am still going to show you the basic very fast, just in case you are completely new to VFX in UCC video production. For those more experiencing viewers, feel free to skip to this time code for UCC video tracking. First, go to project setting and make sure your timeline resolution match your largest footage resolution. This project is shot on the Install 2 one rs one inch 2 and the Install 2 x 3 for CBS News. So the largest resolution, which is the one rs one inch 2 is 5888 by 2944 in 30 frames per second. Pro tips, never ever shoot at 24 frames per second or any frame rate below 29.97 FPS for 360 videos, unless you want to make your viewers sick inside a VR headset. Then jump to optimize media and render cache. I am on the latest M2 Max MacBook Pro, so this session does not matter to me as I can play back even AK ProRes file, no problem. But if you are experiencing slowdown and job frame in playback, you have to use proxy. We are dealing with 6K video files here. Another pro tips, make sure you render ProRes in install to see studio. H.264 or H.265 is not editing friendly format. Thank me later for these pro tips, as I will save you hours of frustration and hair pulling. Proxy media resolution set to quarter and format ProRes proxy should be good. Optimized media format and render cache format set to ProRes 422 in case you want to use render cache to speed up your final rendering speed by 100 times. Yes, this video is packed with useful tips. So don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Enable background caching to one second so we can use smart caching all the time. Safe. Now let's learn a quick and free way to insert text, logo, 2D video, and flat motion graphics that is not created in Unreal Engine or Blender into 2 video. Resort 18.5 now supports Universal Scene Descriptor USD files. I will make another tutorial on how to import your Nerf to the scan Unreal Assets into Fusion. This one will focus on flat 2D insert only to make it easier. Drop in a 360 video, now optional step, in order to see 360 video in flat format similar to YouTube in edit page, you will need a third party plugin, the VR units from Boris Effects Continuum. You don't need it for this tutorial, that is just for me easier to demo you the final result without rendering out the whole video. Add an adjustment clip, I have it pinned in my favorites list right here. Search VR and drop in BCC VR Reorient. Now open the inspector window. If not open already, go to effects and under Reorient, view mode, select preview. Now you can use pen Y to look around in 360 just like what you see on YouTube. Very cool. Disable the adjustment layer for now. Now cut your 360 video to only the section you want to insert graphic. 
right click and create a new fusion clip this is just for best practices to only work on the length of the edited video you need instead of the whole entire source video now go to fusion it is the number four tab right here first Let's reorient the 360 video. So we are looking at the beautiful San Francisco Bay. Shift plus space to bring up the quick search menu and search for panel map. And then hold down the shift and drag the panel map on to the line. We'll add the node into the pine. Put media in on one and media out on two using this little dot right here. In panel map, go to rotation and adjust the y axis until the bay is in the center of the frame. Good, now let's learn the easiest way to add motion graphic in 260. First, let me show you the wrong way everybody else is doing. Back to edit page, people just drop in 2D assets like this video directly on top of the 260 video. Resize and call it an insert. Enable the board's effect adjustment layer to preview what it looked like on YouTube 360. As you see right here, the video is pinched in. If you pan around, it looked like the video is wrapped around in 360 incorrectly instead of exist naturally in the 360 environments. 9 out of 10 360 video you saw online having this issue. I believe some wrong YouTube resource tutorial flowing out there on the internet teach everybody the wrong way. Unfortunately, those wrong tutorials had way more views than my content. So please help spread the love and teach your other fellow GC creator the correct way by sending them to this tutorial. This is a good comma to share the knowledge. Go ahead and add a spherical camera, Merce 3D node, and the Render 3D nose. Also add an image plane 3D. In Render 3D, the camera is spherical camera number one, and the render type is using OpenGL to help with faster render. Again, if this is new to you, go back to watch this tutorial first. Now, go to Media Pool right here and drag in the same 2D video. It will create a media in Node for you. Now, connect all of them like so. Bring Merge 3D into Preview window number one. You see the 3D. Push the image plane back from the camera like so. Add another Merge node to merge the render 3D in. There you go. Now, the 2D video show up in 360. Right click on the Preview window number two and select 360 view. Auto is fine. Hold down Option and middle mouse button drag to look around in 360 inside Fusion. Wait, it does not look correct. What? What is going wrong? Well, if you look at your comp size right here, your render 3D node, it is actually 11K instead of 6K. Luckily, there is an easy fix. Go to render 3D, image, and uncheck auto resolution and set the width to 2944. Basically, square 1 to 1 ratio. If you use X3, here will be 2880. What Whatever your height is, the width has to match it. Now, the render 2D comp size is correct. Go back. Now, the 2D video look like insert it in 360 correctly without any corner pinching. The best part is, not like in Premiere, this is true 3D with 3D representation. As you see, I can move the image plane in 3D space and it will look correct anywhere I pull it. One more tip for you. If you want to mimic what you have in Premiere, the VR Plane to Sphere, you can add a Transform 3D node right here after Image Plane 3D, thanks to one of my viewers' helpful comments. To rotate the plane only on X and Y axis, and always fun phrasing viewers' viewpoint. Our community is strong and willing to help each other. If you have any question and suggestion, don't hesitate to drop a comment below and let the community to help you. Now, let me show you something even cooler. How to add motion graphic like this into 360 and position anywhere you want in 3D space. I am actually chilling here. Instead of spending hours on motion design, I download one of the pre-made templates from Motion VFX. Mid Journey, oh sorry, I mean M Journey is what I purchased here as I make travel to see videos. They are the only Resolve templates maker using Resource 18 new macro installation system. And it is fully Fusion 18 compatible. 
Motion Array, an other heavily advertised popular provider, does not update its Fusion template, so it is not compatible with Resource 18, only 17. This is not a sponsor content. Just to be clear, I just say it like it is. The only sponsor of this video is Kimchi, my cute little Shiba. Well, hopefully in the future, Motion VFX can really sponsor us. Disconnect the video now, go to Effects, Template, and search for M Journey after downloading and installing the template. If you don't want to pay for a template, you can also just download the free template here from Motion VFX. If you are more of an indecisive type and constantly searching for a latest style, then the Invito Elements Money subscription is perfect for you. And they are the cheapest and the biggest selection amongst all. This is San Fran's city of cool tech. Not a safe place to live. Please lock your car, yada yada yada. Okay, gotta carry away. Hide the footer as we don't need it and turn on job shadow and turn it into 4K. Very powerful title plugin, Mako. Now connect it into the 3D image plane. Look at that, a professionally designed title. Push it in the 3D space closer to the camera. Modify the job shadow a little bit so it blends better. There you go, we are done. Go out and take a look at it at the edit page. Beautiful. Does that fun make you want to live in San Francisco? Be neighbors with those rich tech billionaires? All joke aside, check out my travel to see video of San Francisco right here in VR headset so you can enjoy what the city has to offer without all the danger and expensive parking tickets. Okay, now we are going to learn something that you probably don't know yet. 3D camera tracking within DaVinci Resolve Fusion 15.5. I'm going to go as in-depth as possible so you will come out as an expert in 60 VFX by the end of this tutorial. So just bear with me if it gets a little bit complicated. Drop in an other 260 footage shot on a one s one in 260 or a DJI Inspire 3 drone approaching Oracle Stadium. That is for CBS News and fly by a Part 107 certified pilot with full clearance. So John Police, please don't yell at me. One RS1 in 2 c has amazing flow state stabilization. My custom mounting system right here also has amazing physical stabilization. So the footage is extremely stable without any need of post stabilization. If you want to learn more about my vibration dampening system, check out this tutorial right here. If your footage is not stable, like you handheld your camera walking or mounted it on a car like right here, you will need to stabilize it first before the next step. Luckily though, it's very easy in Fusion. Just drop in a spherical stabilizer here and let it render and you are good to go. No expensive third-party software is needed. Shift plus spacebar to search for LED long patcher. Connect it between the in and out. We will track what the LED long patches see and what is in front of the drone. Now, search for camera tracker. We are going to increase the detection threshold a bit and drop the minimum feature separation to get more tracking data. Make sure to check by directional tracking. Go ahead and click the auto track. Next, go to camera tab. The focal length of the One RS1 inch 260, according to Install 260 website, is 6.52 mm. Make sure the aperture width and height is the same as what the LED long patcher output is. So just copy the width number to the height. Now go to Soft tab. Let's reduce the maximum tracking air number to refine the tracking points. If you zoom in, you see the tracking point is in on a moving chuck which is not correct. You can also manually remove that point. Drop the maximum checking error until you select like about 100 points right here. Let's delete those points. Now we have around 1000 points. Let's hit solve to see if we can solve the 3D camera. After several seconds, we got a average solve error of 0.4 pixel, which is really good number. So. Your goal is to get the air below 1. If your air is above 1, you will need to continue to reduce the maximum tracking air and solve air. Increase the minimum tracking length to get rid of more problematic tracking points. Usually around 900 to 1000 points are pretty good. If it still wouldn't work, manually remove point, you know the AI is making a mistake. 
I am on 18.5 beta, so the camera tracking is pretty accurate. If you are in a lower version, I would highly recommend upgrading to the latest version of Resolve and try again. If you cannot see the tracking point, go to option here and check this. Now you see it better to remove those bad points. The new AI is pretty good, so hopefully you don't need to do this manually. Go to export tab and click export. It generates lots of notes for you, which is good. The one you need to pay attention to for 3D tracking is the Point Cloud 3D and the Camera 3D. Now, same order of business you just learned. We are inserting 2D and this time even 3D elements inside the 360 video. Thanks to the Point Cloud system, now we have. Search for spherical camera, merge 3D and render 3D. Render 3D use vehicle camera number 1 and we use OpenGL right here. Now connect the point cloud to Merge 3D. Let's close the effect panel so we have more screen realistic and put the Merge 3D output onto preview window number 1. Dolly in and out in 2D is hold down the command key and middle mouse scroll wheel. To move up and down is the control key and the middle mouse scroll wheel. Put preview window number 2 onto render 3D. Look at the size. Again, it is double. Let's fix the air right here. Uncheck auto resolution and set the width to 2944. Now our render 3D comp size is correctly at 6K. Now we need to connect our virtual spherical camera to the traffic camera 3D. So our spherical camera is moving exactly like the install to see one S1 in 2 c on our drone. Go to your spherical camera transform tab, right click on X, Y, and Z under translation and X, Y, and Z under rotation and link them to the camera 3D like so. Now, as you see here, our spherical camera is traveling exactly like the physical real world camera. How cool is that? And it is so much easier than After Effects. Would you agree? Comment below. Now, we are going to merge the render 3D back to our 360 video foreground. We do not need the camera tracker or the lead long patcher anymore, so we can move it out of the pine or you can just delete them. Make sure the render 3D go into the green triangle as the foreground and the 360 video is background into the yellow triangle. If you don't see anything, this is probably why. Now, let's add a 3D title into our attracted drone footage. Click this button to add a 3D text node, type in San Francisco and pick a cool font. You see the title is showing in the 3D space right here. Put media out into window number 2 and turn on 360 view mode. Now let's position the 3D text in 3D space so we can fly through the text to create a very cool opening. Go to 3D text transform tab and adjust the Z depth to push the text onto the camera path. So, make sure adjust the Y rotation to make the text facing the camera. We don't really want the text overlap with the beautiful cityscape, so we push the text up the sky in 3D. So, we are flying under the 3D text. It gives viewers an excuse to look up, like looking at an alien mothership. How cool! Take a look at the render in 3D. Very cool! But it's nothing 3D about this text, so let's fix that. Go back to the text inspector window, open extrusion to add some depth to the 3D text, go to custom and make a round corner like so. Let's add the 3D video as the environment map, go to shading and turn it to image and connect media in into the 3D text. Look, it's very cool. We just created an alien spaceship look alike on top of San Francisco skyline. Don't step in shit. I'm recording you. Let me take this opportunity to show you more 3D tricks on how I created my 3D opening title, as this is one of the most requested tutorials on this channel. Turn back to solid and disconnect the media in. We are adding replace material to the node and then go to effects, templates, shaders to use one of the free fusion shaders. I use a chrome material here to have an alien spaceship metallic look. Connect it to the material node. Now add some 3D lighting. Go to render 3D and enable lighting. 
add an ambient light note and increase the intensity to bring the color back from the text. Now add a spotlight. Position it to the actual sun location to mimic the sun. Add some warm color and adjust the setting until it looks good. Now play it. Wow, this looks really good. I really like how the material reflects the sunlight. It belongs to the 60 scenes and reacts to the correct lighting. Amazing. You can spend more time designing the virtual light right here. Like I add a third light where the ocean is, set it to reflect the sunlight but with a blue tint. So when we fly under the text, we are also seeing the light instead of the black shadow the reflection of the ocean blue. As you see, you can go all out to make it look as realistic as possible in the 3D to 60 space where you have everything mapped out correctly. You can do a lot more besides adding a 3D title. Like right here, we use the motion VFX again to generate a call out card. We reconnect it to the 2D image plane, which connected to the same Merc 3D node. Now we have a beautiful call out card for the Salesforce Tower. Great for realistic 3D virtual tour video. We can also use this trick to track a billboard in 2D and replace it to something else like this example right here I did for WNBA. So practice with your own music footage and comment below if you have any further question. If you want more useful knowledge and industry insight just like this one, getting paid $1,000 a day as a VR specialist, or staying ahead in the competition as a virtual tour creator, consider supporting us by subscribing to this awesome channel and hit the notification bell. Give this video a big thumb up and drop me a thank you comment down below. I honestly hate to keep asking people to subscribe, but this is the reality of YouTube. So if you want more in-depth knowledge that you cannot find anywhere else, help us to help you. This video only cover monoscopic music video. If you are a stereo 3D artist, check this in-depth tutorial on how to do the exact same thing in 3D VR 180 with your Canon EOS VR system. Or this tutorial on how to do 3D object removal in 3D or 180 using DaVinci Resolve Fusion. I will see you there or I will see you in the metaverse. Ciao.